Hi guys, I'm Kashan and you are watching The Book Archer. So I have a collective book haul for you guys today. I'm going to start off by showing you guys the books that I already have mentioned in previous videos, even if it's just been briefly. The first one that I'm going to mention is Rebel Spring, which is the second book in the Fallen Kingdoms series. I picked this up a little while ago and it's the first book that I'm reading this month as I mentioned in my April wrap up May TBR video. I'm really enjoying this so far. The third book is Gathering Darkness and then the fourth book comes out at the end of this year, Frozen Tides. There will be two more books after that, I believe, because I know it was originally a four book series, but I think it's like six books now. Can't wait to finish this up and tell you guys my thoughts. The second book is a book that I read last month and I also purchased last month, which is Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnis. I really enjoyed this book. This is a survival story about a dystopian world where water has basically is scarce or it has run out so there's a low supply of water it's a very character driven story with a, a likable female protagonist but she's also different from your normal female protagonist and oh my god this lighting if you're looking for something that's still a good read and a little bit different from what you normally pick up i would definitely suggest this this is the first book in a duology so yeah two books not too much commitment the third book i pick up I was supposed to read last month but I just wasn't in the mood for another historical fiction after I finished Clockwork Princess and that was Jacoby by William Ritter. If the tagline that it's sold as is a cross between Sherlock Holmes and Doctor Who so if you like Sherlock Holmes and Doctor Who I'm guessing that you will like this too. This is a historical fiction. The main character is a girl from London who has a lot of future worldviews. Like it takes place in 1892. Our main character doesn't want to be married and things like that. She wants to go off and find an adventure of her own. She runs into this detective named Jacoby and he deals with supernatural cases and he can also see like supernatural things and see paranormal. So it's a historical paranormal novel. I thought that sounded really fun. Plus the cover is so pretty. The second book in this series also comes out later this year so if this is something that you're interested in, if you like historical stories, if you like paranormal stories, if you like Doctor Who or Sherlock Holmes, I think this will be a fun little read for you. The next book that I picked up, I picked these up early on in March and they've been on my shelf. I just haven't shown them or talked about them. Um, is Days of Blood and Starlight, the second book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series, which I have yet to start. I read the first few chapters of Daughter of Smoke and Bone and immediately loved Lanny Taylor's writing style. I really liked it. This is a super high fantasy book, but I've heard really, really great things about it. I know Kat from Tastic says this is one of her favorite series of all time. And me and her have kind of similar reading tastes, so I trust her, and I will eventually be picking this up, like, sooner than later. The next book that I got was a book that I was actually really, really, really wanting to read. This came out, like, last October. It came out in fall. I saw some people hauling it, but I never heard anything about it after that. Like, I don't know if they didn't read it or what, but I saw it on Book Outlet, and then I was like, have to snatch that up for the low. And that is Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. I know Josephine Angelini wrote another series. I think it was the Starcross series. Do not quote me because I honestly don't remember. I saw this and I immediately wanted to read it. This is kind of like an urban fantasy slash high fantasy, which intrigues me. The main character is like a witch and she lives in modern day Salem, but she doesn't know like she's a witch, I guess, in the first chapter. I don't know, I haven't read this yet. There is like a parallel universe where she's, a, I guess, a powerful witch. That's all I got from the synopsis. But I thought the back was so interesting because it says, I remember what I must do even if it makes the, me the villain of my own story. And I'm just like, ooh, sounds intriguing to me. So I cannot wait to read this. I know this is the first book in a trilogy and I saw the cover for the second book. It looks so pretty. Hopefully I will enjoy this when I read it. The next two books I'm really excited to show you guys. I'm trying to stock up on contemporary since it, this is prime contemporary reading season. And I have Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. 
this book is so freaking pretty you uh you guys have seen it a ton but like i'm just i'm really glad that i own this it's adorable this dust jacket is adorable it's pretty without the dust jacket it's just amazing i hope this lives up to the hype especially since i'm going on vacation so i just want to get into summer and vacay mode another book i picked up is to all the boys you've loved before i've loved before by jenny han this book is messing with my lighting this is going to be my first time I'm reading a book by Jenny Han so hopefully I like this I know the sequel to this book comes out at the end of this month so if I enjoy this one enough I will give that one a go the next two books that I picked up are the second and third book in a trilogy that I am currently reading and that is Siege and Storm and Ruin and Rising by Leigh Bardugo and these are so much prettier in person than I thought like these books are so gorgeous. I'm so glad I got these in the hardback because they're really, really nice. I definitely want to purchase Shadow and Bone now because I have the second and third book. So I cannot wait to finish up this series and see what my thoughts are on it. Because I know Ruin and Rising has a few mixed reviews. Some people love the ending, some people hate it. Uh, I cannot wait to get to these soon. The last two books I'm going to mention are not really novels, but these are also books that I picked up recently. I also read other things besides novels. I like inspiration books and memoirs and all type of things like that. Joyce Meyer recently came to my city, so I had to pick up Battlefield of the Mind, which is winning the battle of your mind. I really like telling yourself good things about yourself, positive aspiration, affirmations, believing in yourself and things like that and really just the power of your mental space and I really am big on mental health so I could not wait to pick this up and read it I'm a little of the ways through it not much but these are usually like continual reads for me I had to pick this up I also picked up instinct by TD Jakes and this is instinct the power to unleash your inborn drive and this book is basically supposed to help you figure out what you want to do career rise with your life like based on your natural talents your natural likes your natural skills and whatever your god-given purpose is books and big hair hey girl has read this twice and she really liked it so hopefully i enjoy it as well so that is the end of my collective book haul Hopefully I get around to these books really soon. What books have y'all purchased recently? What books do you want to purchase? Just leave everything in the description below. Have you read any of these? Are they interesting to you? Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Book Archer. Tweet me, talk to me, comment down below. And thank you for tuning into my video. Bye.